continuing from my previous video where, where I had to stop uh, for reasons. So let's read this question again. So we may have to do it again. A hay sh shed is 80 meters from the house and the wool shed is 800 meters from the house. So this is a wool shed which is 800 meters and this is 80 meters. So this is 80 and this is your house which is at zero. So this is your house, this is your hay shed. It doesn't matter if I have to go over this again. So the graph shows the time Jessica takes to jog from the hay shed to wool shed. So this is the graph of uh, jogging. So this is, let me write jogging here. Jessica jogging. Okay. So we had to write the equation of this line. So let me go over that again. So to write the equation of a line, we need two things. One is the y-intercept and the gradient. So first let's find the gradient. The gradient is rise. The gradient is rise over run. So let me draw a dotted line. So this is a repeat, but doesn't matter. So this is your rise and this is your run. Okay. So the gradient of this is rise over run. So you are, this is rise and this is run. So I'll go over this quickly. So this is 720. You're rising from 80 to 800, which is 720, which is meters. And this is your run, which is four minutes. So your gradient is 180, 720 divided by four is 180x plus 80. So this is the equation of this line. Okay, uh, let's look at the next question. Okay, or oh, this is the third question. This answer was, or in other words, 180 is the speed of Jessica as she's running. So you can see in terms of, uh, to make this in context, so 180 is the speed, is one meters per minute. I hope you know speed is distance over time. So this is distance, this is distance, and this is time. So speed is a gradient. Okay, this is something new. You may have learned speed, you may have learned this distance over time, but in maths you call that the gradient. Okay, when you come, when you learn velocity, you'll understand the velocity. This is also velocity, so there's a difference between speed and velocity, so I'm not going into that now. Okay, the next question is, if Jessica walks to the wall shed instead of jogging, it takes two minutes longer. Okay, so here, instead of jogging, if she so instead of jogging, if she walks, it takes two minutes longer. That means it takes, she's uh, walking from the hay shed to the wool shed. So it takes six minutes now. Okay, so the equation, the line would look like this. So let me draw a line from here to here. Okay, so equation, draw the line, draw the line on the grid. So this is, so the graph of, I'll write here. This is the graph of walking. This is the graph of walking. Jessica walking. So let's write the equation, though it is not asked. We'll be using this in the next question. So the equation of walking, so I'll write YW. YW is the equation for walking, is your Y intercept is 80. Your gradient is the gradient is changing, so gradient for, so I'll write, this is speed for speed J. I'll write speed J for jogging. The speed of walking is distance over time. So she's covering the same distance, which is how much? 720. And the time is now instead of, instead of, oops, instead of, let me draw this, or let me draw, increase this dotted line. So that now, the time has changed from six, four minutes to six minutes now. The time has changed from four minutes to six minutes. So it is 720 divided by six. So six, this is 120. Six times 12 is 72. So equation of walking for Jessica is 120 X plus 80. Okay, so let's look at the next question. Okay. Jessica's dad, oops, Jessica's dad leaves wool shed on his farm bike. Okay, so this is, 
I'll call this bike. At the same time, Jessica leaves to uh, leaves the hay shed to go for a walk. It takes one and a half minute to reach the hay shed. So now this Jessica's dad is going the other way around. He starts here. So let me use this color. He starts at the wool shed and he's coming to the hay shed. And it's take it takes one point five minutes. So this is one point five minutes. So this is say eighty. I'm making guess here. So this is one point five minutes. So the graph of a dad would look like this. So this is a, the graph of a dad. So I'll write this. Uh, this is a biking. So let me write bike or biking. This is the graph of biking. Yeah, the gradient is negative because here yeah, it is rise over run. So let me do the run like this. So this is the run. Okay, so the rise is negative here. The rise is negative. The rise is negative and the run is positive. So gradient of Jessica's dad, so I'll write y, y, b. y, b, that is biking. Your gradient is how much? The same distance, but the only difference is the distance is minus. Okay, so this will be minus 720 because you're going down over time is how much? 1.5. X plus the Y intercept, which is 800. So let me get the calculator out. Menu run, 720 divided by 1.5. I have to put just negative there, which is minus 480. Okay, so what does this mean? What does minus 480 means? Minus 480 means the velocity, this is the speed of a dad plus 800. So yeah, let us make, understand this. So you can say the speed of biking or speed of a uh, dad on the bike is 480 meters, 480 meters per minute down. Your speed is down, your distance is, so you'll understand this why you, the velocity or speed is negative here because it's going down. Now the question is at what time and at what distance from the house does he meet up with Jessica? Okay, so what's happening? Jessica is going to the wool shed and dad is coming back to the hay shed. So this is the point where they're going to meet. Okay, this is the time. So this will give you the time. The point of intersection will give you the time. So let me draw a dotted line there. Or let me use this ruler, uh, arrow key. So this is this is the distance and this is the time. Because this point, whatever that point is, your x coordinate will give you the disk time and your y coordinate will give you the distance. Okay, so we have to just, we can use the graphic calculator. So I'm going to use the graphic calculator to get the answer. So this is the equation of a dad. An equation of walking is what? We'll use the equation of walking. We wrote walking is 120 plus 80x. So first let me do it without the graphic calculator and then we will use the graphic calculator to check the answer. So the question is, where is yb equal to yw? That's where they are meeting. Question is, where is yb equal to yw? So I'm going to say, well, that is when this is equal to this. So you can say minus 480x plus 800 is equal to 120x plus 80. So I want to bring x's on right-hand side and numbers on the right, uh, left-hand side or whichever way. So I want to cancel this minus 40, so minus 480x. So I'm going to add 480x to this side. So to add 480x to this side. So the x's are on the right hand side, so I have to have the numbers on the left hand side. I'm going to take away 80 from this side, so I have to have take away 80 from this side. So this is simple linear equation, so what will get cancelled? This and this gets cancelled, this, no, sorry. 
uh, this and this gets cancelled. Okay, so this is 800 take away 80 is 720 is equal to this is 600x. Okay, so so dividing both sides by 600, so 720 divided by 600 is equal to x. So let me get the calculator. 720 divided by 600, which is 1.2. So x is 1.2 minutes. So after 1.2 minutes, they crossed each other. And it graphically, it does make sense. Can you see this is 1.5? This is less than 1.5, which is 1.2. And this would be around 225. So this is 200, this is 250. So this should be around 225. It's my guess. So let's see. So you can put this x back in this one of this equation. So I, I know yw is 120x plus 80. So I'm going to put x as 1.2. So this is 120 times 1.2 plus 80. So let's get again get the calculator. So 120 times 1.2 plus 80. That gives me 224. So this answer did make sense. So this is 224 meters. So let us check this on the graphic calculator. Okay. So let me move this, this equation slightly to this right hand side. And this also to the right hand side so that I can see the equation when I type in on the graphic calculator. Okay, so go to graph and in y1 type in this equation which is 120x plus 80. Okay, and in the second equation you have got minus 480x minus 480x plus 800. So you have to use your common sense to decide the scale. So I want to get the scale from 0 to is six minutes. X is on x axis we are taking the time and on the y axis I had to go from zero to one thousand because the wool shed is eight hundred meters away at a scale of hundred and draw the graph. Can you see this is the equation or this is the line of Jessica walking and this is the equation of or this is the line of a dad walking. So we want to find this point so I go G solve intersect that is F5. So at 1.2 minutes they are 224 meters away from the home and we have confirmed the answer. So our answer is right. So we can say they meet they met each other or they are crossing each other after 1.2 minutes. This is not meters. This is after 1.2 minutes. So after 1.2 minutes and 224 meters away from home. 